Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Travis and today I'm going to show you how to create a Google site. Um, it is March of 2015 when I'm filming this, so hopefully everything is uh, current and up to date uh, on Google when you're watching this video. Um, essentially, where we start off is by logging into your uh, Gmail account. So let's go ahead and do that. Now I'm going to be doing this all in real time, uh, one take without any stopping, so if I have any mistakes or errors, I apologize in advance. Um, but we'll see how this goes. So once you log into Gmail, you want to go into the top right corner, which is your apps for Google. Okay, now if you don't see it here, you're going to have to click on more, and that's going to take you down to some of the uh, different apps that are also out there from Google. Click again, and we're going to have to hunt down sites. I actually haven't created a site yet, or if I have, it's been a while since I've done it. Uh, usually sites will pop up on that list initially, but I think for this email address, I, I don't think I've created one yet, so that's good. Oh, yeah, I guess I have made some. It's been a while. All right, so what you want to do is go ahead and once you've clicked on sites, uh, go over here on the left-hand side, go ahead and click on create. And we're just going to go with a blank template. We're going to call it uh, practice site 2015. Okay. You can call it whatever you want to. Uh, you can change the name on it if you want to. Now, again, in this video, I'm going to show you the absolute basics of setting up essentially a, a website for your classroom. If you just want to get something going, get some stuff uploaded online and go from there. I'm going to show you how to install some of the widgets and pictures and hopefully get it all done in about 13 and a half minutes before I run out of video time. So, all right, so here we go. Blank template. Uh, select a theme. Let's go ahead and choose a color. Uh, you can change this later on, but I, I find... Oh, where's it at? There's one that works really good that shows up nice on the screen. Ah, yeah, Ember. Let's just go with Ember and then click on Create. Okay, so now your site's being created. Okay, it looks like they want me to type in a code here so they know I'm not spamming or anything like that. See if this goes through. Um, let's see here. Create site. Hmm, let's see what's going on. Oh, not available. Okay. Well, this might happen to you sometimes. So I called it Practice Site 2015 V3. The thing is, there's so many Google sites out there that if you choose one that's already in existence, uh, it's not going to be able to make it for you. So there we go. Okay, my website's officially been created. So this is your home page. So the first thing you want to do is go up here in the top right corner, click on the pencil. You're going to use this to edit the page so you can actually type on it. So we'll put uh, welcome to my home page. Now I'm going to hit save. Now what I'm going to do is just show you how to make up some basic pages and then from there we're going to put stuff on those pages. Okay. So this isn't really going to go in any particular order. We're just going to get you up and running. So if you're a teacher, you might want to have a page uh, for your syllabus. Create. Now we'll be able to attach the syllabus and I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. I just go ahead and hit save and it's going to go ahead and add that to the left hand side. Uh, let's go ahead and create another page and we'll just call it daily work. Okay, we'll go ahead and create that page where you can upload daily work. You can cut and paste it or upload the documents if you want to. Go ahead and hit save. Again, this is going to be a little repetitive. I apologize. Now let's go ahead and let's create a page where we're going to put our Google Calendar on here. So we'll call this the calendar. Now for anybody logging in under Google, it's going to show their own particular calendar with their own events. So when I log on here, you might see my own events on the calendar, but you wouldn't get that from your end because you'll be logged into your own account. Okay, so now we're creating a page right there for the calendar. And I think we'll just go ahead and throw one more page up there uh, for... Now let's go ahead and maybe put a news page up there if this goes right. So create a page, and we'll call it Daily News. Now again, this, this is just a generic layout. You know, you can tailor your website for whatever you want to put up on your, on your website, vocabulary, tests, whatever you want to do. Okay, so there you go. Got the pages all created now. Go ahead and hit save. All right, so the first thing we want to do is let's go ahead and put a picture on our home page. Let's make the home page. Oh, we'll make it look uh, kind of cool, I guess, right? So what you want to do is go into edit mode. So we'll go ahead and click on the, the little pencil on the top right corner. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get our cursor. Let's push it down just a smidge here. There we go. And uh, we want to insert in the top left corner an image. Okay, and this is going to properly insert the image so that you can edit it. Uh, you got to make sure you have a photo on standby, either in your computer, on your desktop, in your photo folder, whatever you want to do. And so I'm going to go ahead and upload a picture that I have sitting on my desktop. Uh, that's just a picture I took from a car show last summer. And let's see if I can find it. Uh, where's she at? Uh, 
I got so much stuff on my desktop, it's crazy. Ah, here it is right here. Okay. Yeah, this was a car show that I was at last summer. This uh, old farmer pulled up in a Lamborghini. I swear, true story. All right, so we'll go ahead and hit on OK. Now, the picture is pretty big. It's a little bit larger than I think I want. So what you're going to do is go ahead and click on, there's an S, M, and L, small, medium, large. Let's make that medium-sized. Okay, that's decent. And uh, you might not be able to see that on the bottom here. Let's drag our recording. Let's make our screen a little bit smaller so you can see. There we go. Um, what I want to do is center the photo. So you've got these icons across the bottom, so go ahead and center it. Now, if you click off to the side, that little editing window is going to disappear, okay? So what you want to do is click on the photo again, and the editing window is all across the bottom. If you don't want that picture anymore, you click on the X, and the photo will disappear. But I'm going to go and leave the Lamborghini. Let's leave the Lambo up there. That looks cool. All right, so now I've got a, a cool picture here on my home page. All right, let's go ahead and, oh, there's one more important page you want to create. Go ahead and create what I call a storage page. And what that's going to do is that's going to allow us to have a nice, clean, tidy uh, website. I'm going to show you how to upload like one or two documents to it and how you can keep your pages from getting cluttered. So go ahead and hit save. All right, so what we're going to do is let's go ahead and insert our calendar. So we're going to click on the link on the left-hand side where it says calendar, okay, and click on the pencil to edit the page. All right, now it's already flashing, so I'm going to insert. Uh, let's see where we're we at. Click on calendar under Google and I think I'll just go ahead and put this calendar up I don't think there's much of anything on there hit select this is gonna be your height your width I'm just gonna leave it as is I'm just gonna let everything go as is and just hit save and that'll get the calendar up now you can't see it right now because the calendar has to actually load this is kinda like the edit mode just like what we saw with the picture so I'm gonna center my calendar okay looks good and I'll just go ahead and hit save and we'll leave it. Now I do have a problem with my browser occasionally. Uh, sometimes my calendar does not show up on here, but it does for anybody else that's viewing the page. And actually it, uh, it, it, it'll show their own calendar because they'll be logged in on their own account. Um, I have no appointments, I have no activities on this particular email address. So if I did, they would show up down below um, as I've done for other classes that I teach. All right, now daily news. Let's go ahead and create a daily news site. So here's the click on the edit page icon right here and let's go ahead and insert uh, let's click on more gadgets and let's go ahead and insert add a news element to your site and show the latest Google News headlines okay let's go ahead and click on that and just hit select and we're gonna put top stories politics and technology uh, go ahead and click on OK. And you can go back and watch this stuff if you need to, guys, if you want to do it like at a slower pace. Um, align it to the center so it looks nice on the page. Now if I click off to the side, well, I guess you can still edit it. So it's a little bit different than a photo. OK, go ahead and hit Save. All right, so now the news is going to start uh, showing up on here as it starts bringing in a feed, okay? Now, the next thing we want to do quickly is create a storage page. Um, earlier, I mentioned, you know, let's, let's create a syllabus page. Well, we're going to store all the documents on the storage page, and then on every other web page that we create, we're just going to put a link to those documents instead of putting the documents themselves on those pages. Trust me, it'll be a lot cleaner. So what we want to do is go into um, Add Files down below. And I'm going to go ahead and put one of my, a copy of my syllabus up here. So let's go into Documents, and I've got a, a syllabus folder. All you have to do is find the syllabus on your computer. Mine is right here, 2014, 2015. We're going to put the, I will just put a Spanish, I will put a Spanish one syllabus up on the website. So there we go. All right, so now it's uploading the file. All right, now it's down there. Now here's what I like to do. You click on Edit Page. All right, you grab it, click, hold your button down on your mouse pad, drag it up here and let go. All right, and now hit save. And what that's going to do is it's not only going to store the document at the bottom, but it's going to create a bit of a quick link. And what we want to do is highlight this and then go up to edit, copy, or control C or command C, whatever system you're using. Okay, now this is a syllabus. All right, so let's click on the syllabus link on the left-hand side. And I want to put a link, I want to put a downloadable version of the syllabus right here, okay? So what I'm going to do is go to, up on the top, go edit, paste, or control V or command V or whatever. Okay, so we'll go ahead and hit save. Now, when you share this website with your students, and all you have to do is click on share in the top right corner, um, you'll uh, put the email addresses down here of those people you want to share it with. It'll give you a chance to share it. 
make sure that you just put them down as a viewer only and not somebody that can edit it and then you'll simply hit save and that'll be it so I'm gonna go ahead and click back here real quick hopefully this doesn't cause any issues with what I created uh, I think I need to do a refresh here real quick there it is okay so if a student were to click on this link on your website they'll click on it and what it's gonna do is it's gonna give them a version of the document that they can view like this okay or they can download it or they can print it or they can save it to their own uh, Google Drive uh, folders and our district has has an account with Google and so that uh, gives everybody kind of the same uh, addresses for email we all go off the same accounts and so on so that works really good uh, let's see okay I've got just a few minutes here real quick before I run out of time um, so anyway, again, so back on storage, okay, this is where you can upload all of your documents, drag and drop them, and then from there you can highlight and cut and paste to whatever you want. Say you got some homework, you want to drop it, you can drop it on here, and it'll click on it. I mean, don't get me wrong, you can load the files on here if you want to directly, and that's fine, but it arranges them alphabetical, and then it's, it gets kind of cluttered after a while, trust me, it's better not to. All right, so quickly, on daily work, I think I'll just go ahead and embed a, a YouTube video. So we click on edit page, click on the pencil, and I'm going to quickly find a YouTube video that I can show in class. Okay, so youtube.com. Uh, let's go with um, how to study. Okay, we'll just find something decent. I have, okay, eight advanced study tips, college info geek, how to study smart, how to study for a test. Now, granted, I would probably watch, I would definitely watch these before I show my class. So uh, let's go ahead and highlight, double click, and Command C or edit copy that address. Okay, right here. I'm going to close out the tab. So, what we want to do now is go into insert, I always miss that, go over to the far right side, and then go to YouTube. So, I'm going to insert a YouTube video. So, now what you got to do is you got to paste, you control V or edit paste that address right there and then I just don't mess with the size just leave it as is I guess you can maybe go up a little bit if you want to it's fine and then go ahead and hit save and what that's gonna do is it's gonna basically put the video right there on your web page and what's cool about that is it doesn't allow the students to leave your page when they click on it to view the video it doesn't take them to YouTube it just shows them the video that you've basically embedded more or less on the page um, so let's go ahead and center the video and then hit save and uh, the video is going to go ahead and be loaded onto the page. And so now you could view the video if you want to. So it's there. It's up and running and it's good to go. Uh, sometimes if you ever hit save and something's not there, you sometimes have to go up here and refresh it to make it reload and then it's, uh, it's all set to go. Um, so that's how you'd Im embed a video essentially into your website. Um, real quickly, uh, if you click on the gear and you click on manage the site, uh, if we go to down and keep dropping down here, let's see if I can find it. I always overshoot it. If you want to delete the website that we just created, you click on delete the site. It's going to say, are you sure? And if you hit delete, the website's going to disappear. Okay. Now, if you've deleted it accidentally and you didn't mean to, um, there is, okay, we'll go ahead and go back. We'll hit cancel. If you go back into manage site, Oh, actually, back on the original list uh, of the websites that I created, whenever you click on the sites link before you go to your website you've created, there is a folder, and this sounds a little confusing, but it says deleted sites, and from there you can actually restore the site. So I'm not going to mess with that right now because I'm just about out of time. But essentially, I wanted to show you how to create a website, do some absolute basic editing, how to insert some of the widgets. Uh, one thing about the, the widgets that's kind of cool, if you go to insert, oh, not widgets, I'm sorry, gadgets, if you go to more gadgets, and then click on public, there are a ton of gadgets you can insert. And in fact, if you go up here, you could search by school subject, which is really neat too. And so that gives you a chance to type in math and look for math gadgets or science gadgets. And you can essentially just click on them and they will just, uh, you just simply have to, sorry, you just simply click on um, the gadget that you want and it will, it'll give you some, ask you a few basic questions about the size and so on. You hit OK. Boom, and the gadget will get inserted right on your page. Okay, so hope this helped. This is just uh, creating a very basic Google site. You can get yourself up and running in a little bit of time. Go back and watch this, any parts of these videos if you want to, and that'll help you uh, create your website. Otherwise, there are some great YouTube videos out there that will also help you uh, with more specific things that you want to do. All right? Okay, so I hope this was helpful. Uh, take care, have fun, and I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.